All right, what's going on, guys? So today we are going to watch a little video and react to it, but a little bit of context is important here. So let me just explain briefly. So there was this NBA ball boy, and if you don't know what that is, it's like the kids you see like helping out the team during the game, whether that be like pregame warmups, they might be like getting some rebounds or whatever, or even like during the game when you see them come out to like mop up the floor and stuff if someone like falls down or whatever. Basically, those people they just just come help the team with like random small stuff during the game or whatever so there was this former ball boy i believe for the Cavs, and he went on tiktok and he was doing like a q a or something or just answering some questions and he said the nba player that was the biggest jerk that he ever met was Richard Jefferson. You may or may not know who that is. You probably at least know him from his Cavs days with LeBron, if not from his early days when he was actually like pretty good. So the thing is, Richard Jefferson is actually pretty active on social media he's retired now and he's always around so he actually saw this video and he actually responded to this guy with probably the greatest possible response that you could give in this situation so with that being said let me go ahead and play the clip biggest jerk i met when i was an nba ball boy was a guy who was always condescending that guy richard jefferson so normally i don't address things you know i'll address like the little twitter trolls here and there but you keep reposting this, and so you want attention. But I don't think you really want this attention. So let's tell everybody the truth. What he is saying is true. I never interacted with him. But let's explain why. Is this you? And the biggest tip I saw to was this. Richard Jefferson's dick tip, which touched his kneecap. You literally admit to looking at our junks when we were in the locker room. I remember you. And I saw this video a while ago and I never talked about it. I just kind of let it go. And I saw the original video where I was like, oh, that's the kid that used to stare at all of our junks. And you felt so comfortable staring at our junks that it's literally your second video you have posted on TikTok. Your second video is you talking about it. And this is another thing that I want people to really observe here. You're not just saying like, ooh, I saw Richard's junk, no. You're talking about in comparison to other men in the locker room, the biggest you saw. While it might be true, the point is, that is why I didn't interact with you. That is why I avoided you. So don't come on here because you are an NBA, you were an NBA ball boy. And then everybody saw that those pictures of you. So you have some validity. So then when you start talking trash about me or somebody else, there's, there's validity to it. But that's why I didn't talk to you, because you were looking at our junks the whole time and you felt so comfortable, you decided, I don't mind, I'll do TikToks and talk about comparing grown men's junks in the locker room. So I just thought you wanted the attention. I'll give you the attention. That is why I never interact with you. Yes, my tattoo is really shitty. I know I got it at 17. All right, so it seems like we found ourselves a cock watcher, a meat inspector, if you will. I think this guy might have gotten the wrong idea when they said the job was called Ball Boy. What I find hilarious about the whole story is the whole time, this guy knows the full story. He knows he was in the locker room with the binoculars out, meat watching everyone. So of course, the players aren't gonna be nice to you when they catch you staring at their balls, dude. Like, I feel like that's a pretty valid reason. So then he made this video thinking he's gonna expose Richard Jefferson as like this huge scumbag or whatever. But instead, you got exposed. A little Uno reverse card. And that's what you deserve, bro. I hate people that do shit like this. Like, they will do anything and everything to get a little bit of clout on social media get a little extra views on tiktok and it doesn't matter how they get it right they're willing to do anything it's crazy now that being said i do want to say one thing here we're not going to gloss over the fact that he said his meat was touching his kneecaps because if that's true i mean i can't blame you for being stunned 
That's quite a sight to behold, I would imagine. Of course, you're going to take a quick little glance, you know, just to make sure you're really seeing what you're seeing. Nothing sus about that. Just a little peek like, whoa, damn, okay. Congratulations, bro. Right, that's it. It ends there. But in your case, it seems like you went back for seconds and thirds and every day you went back and, and got another peek. At that point, it's not a peek anymore. Now you're just fucking weird, right? So that's where you fucked up, all right? You can't do that. If it was just a one-time thing, nobody would blame you. But you kept going back, so then it became a problem. And then you uploaded this video thinking you could just say whatever you want about people and no one would say anything about it. Turns out, you can't do that, man. I hope you learned your lesson today, but it's just crazy to me the audacity of some people, man. Like, I guess he just thought he would just be able to freely say whatever he wants and no one was going to call him out over it. No, sir. You are now officially known as a meat watcher. Probably not how you wanted this situation to go down, but maybe next time you will think about it before you do something like this in the future. That's pretty much it for the video, man. I don't think we have anything else we need to add. I just thought this was hilarious. I love when people get called out for doing shit like this, man. Like, it's good to keep people in check so the next time they'll think about what they're saying before they just start saying random nonsense, you know what I mean? Because they think because it's the internet or whatever, there's no consequences for what you say, but there are, man. Anyways, with that being said, that is pretty much it for the video so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below check out my last video if you missed it we talked about the valkyrie situation i was gonna do a follow-up video to it because we looked at it on stream and there was like a little bit more like that went down afterwards but i looked into it more and i was like dude i don't even think anyone cares at this point like it's pretty clear that she's just an idiot at this point after you know doubling down on it and, and now trying to pull the victim card it's just, that's just disgusting, honestly. So, anyways, check out that video if you missed it, if, if you're not up to date on that situation. But other than that, thank you guys once again for watching. Have a good day and peace out.